To wrap up the female reproductive system, we're going to put it all together, right? So when we think about the regulation of the female reproductive system, we are going to go all the way back for a moment, travel with me to the endocrine system, we're going back to the hypothalamus. Remember the hypothalamus? Okay, so the hypothalamus is releasing hormones called gonadotropin releasing hormone. And I realize it might be hard to see with the reflection, but this is figure 2825. We will definitely spend some time in class on this figure because it puts it all together, right? GnRH, gonadotropin releasing hormone, is the green line, okay? Now, it's not showing you overall amounts of GnRH. It's showing you the pulse frequency. So here's the strange thing. Um, Basically, the, so the pulse frequency, think about frequency. Frequency is like different stations on the radio dial, right? 88.1 is a frequency and so is 94.7, right? But one's blues and one's a country station or right or, or jazz or whatever. So different frequencies, just like different frequencies on the radio dial give you totally different music, different frequencies of GnRH pulses from the hypothalamus give us different hormones. So this is what it looks like. If there's a pulse every 60 to 90 minutes, that is going to lead to the release of FSH from the pituitary gland. And if that speeds up to every 30 to 60 minutes, that is going to cause the pituitary to release luteinizing hormone instead, right? So instead of being like really slow and getting follicle stimulating hormone, when the pace picks up a little bit, LH is released. Now my, my snaps are way too fast, right? But hopefully that gives you the idea. Okay, so the hypothalamus is running the show here, but the hypothalamus gets influenced by other hormones. So I'll show you this and then we'll kind of dive in here. Notice in um, the first half of the cycle, so um, during the follicular phase, as estrogen, as that follicle is developing and estrogens are increasing, that actually feeds back to the hypothalamus and is part of what's causing that increased rate of GnRH release. So the increased rate due to estrogen in the follicular phase. Okay, you're already starting to get an idea of how kind of intertwined and complicated this is, but it'll make sense once you go through it a few times, okay? So anyway, um, so let's start when that gonadotropin releasing hormone pulse is slower, right? That is going to be um, contributing to the release of follicle stimulating hormone. Follicle stimulating hormone is what drives the follicle, right? So this is here, this line, this row is the ovaric variant cycle. And so we see the follicle developing, but remember the developing follicle is why the estrogen levels are rising. And the estrogen levels are what run um, the proliferative phase, sorry, um, the proliferative phase of the uterine cycle, right? The rebuilding of the uterine lining. Eh? Get where we're going here? Okay, that rising estrogen is going to increase the rate of gonadotropin releasing hormone pulses, and that causes this surge in luteinizing hormone. The surge in luteinizing hormone causes ovulation, right? And that degraded follicle is now going to become the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum produces progesterone, right? Um, progesterone, as well as inhibin, we both see those rising here, are going to be a negative feedback on GnRH and also follicle stimulating hormone, right? So we have high levels of progesterone. We said that's going to cause the secretion from these uterine glands, right, in the secretory phase there right? Get it? So then we're just at the end of this month and what matters is what happens to the corpus luteum. 
If fertilization occurs, we maintain the corpus luteum, we hold on to progesterone, we hold on to the uterine lining. If there is no fertilization, corpus luteum scars over to the corpus albicans, we see progesterone levels drop, and the uterine lining is lost. And we start all over and over and over. Okay, so think about um, how you might be able to think your way through this, talk through this, um, and heck, just spend a little bit of time appreciating how crazy complex this is. It's actually